we're gonna have a nine foot shower right here. You farted. No, I did not. Who knows how many people they'll have in that shower. What is it? What is it, Tim? Am I crazy? He did strike gold. <laughs> Jump under here and I'll show you exactly what this. What's up guys, Matt here. We're out here at the Eagle Creek house and I wanted to show you a little something about what we're gonna do today. Right here in this bathroom, I've started laying out this tile and we're gonna have a nine foot shower right here. Let me flip this around so I can give you a better depiction of what's going on. All right, we're gonna have a nine foot shower right here and this is the exterior wall. And then you pan over here and here's your bathroom wall. The wall of the bedroom is here. So we've got two of tens spanning from over here to right over here, which is right around 13 to 14 foot, which is plenty in the parameters of what two by tens will span. But this tile is very heavy. This shower floor is very heavy. And there's gonna be solid glass right here, three eighths, maybe half inch. That'll probably be another five, six, seven hundred pounds of glass. There's gonna be a lot of weight. So we're wanting to go under the floor, dig a footer, and we're gonna put a beam in, and we're gonna support this floor about right through here to half the span load on these tuba tins so we won't get any flex in this bathroom because I sure don't want the shower floor or this tile or this glass to crack in the future. So do y'all think we really need to do this? Put your comments down below and tell me, am I overkill, am I crazy? You know how I like to do it though. I like to do everything past 100% so that we can make sure when my wife are in here taking a shower in the shower that we're not gonna crack the shower floor. I mean, who knows? Uh, somebody might buy this house from us and who knows how many people they'll have in that shower. All that weight would be easier to crack that floor and I wanna prevent against that. So let me take you outside and I'll show you the process that we're about to go through. All right, guys, I'm gonna walk you around here to the crawl space door. It is frigid outside today. What do you think, Tim? Very cold, very cold. What do you think, 30 degrees or less? Uh, it's good. At least 30? All right, so let me flip the camera around. We're gonna enter this crawl space right here and I'll show you where we're gonna put this beam. We got the induction heater under here. Let me turn that baby off for a minute so you can hear what I'm saying. We got our light under here. We got our heater under here. Hopefully we're not gonna die from carbon monoxide poisoning today, which if Tim starts smoking his cigarettes under here, I'll die from carbon monoxide anyways. So the heater would probably be just the less of the two evils. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we are. Here's our exterior wall right here on the block. Right here is our double joist that is underneath the wall where the bathroom door is and then right here is a triple joist and that is underneath the wall of the other side of the bathroom so the shower spans from basically this beam right here all the way over to this double beam right here the shower door is about four foot from the exterior wall right over this way and it falls right over the top of this pipe it's definitely gonna be hard to get a proper beam in there. We're probably gonna have to use a two by eight tripled up and we will put a screw jack underneath that because that's gonna be the easiest to install. And then we're gonna dig a footer straight across here, about a 10 to 12 foot footer, rebar in there, concrete in this, let that harden up. Then we'll put the jacks straight up to our girder. All right, so first things first, we're gonna take some measurements. We're gonna lay out where we're gonna dig this footer. And then we've got to hand dig this footer with these mattocks and shovels. We're gonna put the dirt in these buckets right here. We got four buckets, we'll fill them up. We'll take them right out the crawl space door and we'll dump them out there. So guys, it's gonna be a long day, but this right here is what we pride ourselves on is hard work and doing everything 150, 200, 300, 400, a thousand percent, whatever you wanna call it. All right, guys, here we are, hard at it. Tim and I, we got this thing about 10% complete already in about 30 minutes. I hope we find gold. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what is it? What is it, Tim? It what like is a, that down there? I think it's a bone. Let's see, what uh -oh. is that? What? Uh-oh. 
That's my capital venture card. What's that doing down here? We did strike gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At my expense, right? <laughs> We've just about got this trench dug right here. Check this out. We did all that in about an hour. We've just been digging it out with this mattock right here and some little shovels. Now we just need to take a few measurements, make sure our depth is right all the way across there, clean out the sides, and we gotta run up here and get our uh, quick crete and some rebar, set that rebar in there on the chairs, and then we'll start mixing our quick crete and start uh, pouring this baby out and let it cure for a few days. All right, check it out, guys. We've got this footer completely dug. So we've got this about 10 foot long. We're about 16 inches wide. And then our concrete's gonna be eight inches deep, like I said. This is actually a little bit deeper than eight inches. We had to take it down all even, all the way across, uh, so it would be on grade. So we just got back from Lowe's. We got uh, two 10 foot sticks of rebar. Got my rebar chairs here and I got our ties. So now we're gonna put the rebar in this footer. We got our quick creep and we're ready to go. We're gonna put our rebar in this footer and then we will come back first thing in the morning and we're gonna pour all of this footer at once. All right, I'm gonna space these chairs out. And if you don't know what a chair is, this sits down in the footer and it holds the rebar here and here so that the rebar don't sink to the bottom of the footer when you pour the concrete. So I'm gonna space these out evenly. All right, let me grab this rebar and just hit my head. All right. We've got two 10 foot sticks of half inch rebar going in here. We'll take these little tie strips here and tie these in place. There is a tool that you can do this with, but I don't have it and we're just doing a small footer here. Okay, so now we have our rebar in, sitting on top of these chairs all tied up. And the next and final thing we gotta do before we pour our cement in here is take these grade stakes right here and put them at the proper height so that we'll know we can keep our footer all level all the way across. We got the grade stake set on this end. We got the grade stake set on that end. And we've got a string line pulled in between. And then we'll set these two middle grade stakes off of that string line. All right, and there it is, guys. Let's see, let's take a measurement. We got eight inches there. We got eight inches there. We got eight on the end, so our footer's all gonna be eight inches. All right, everybody, we're out here the next morning. We got the truck loaded down with Quick Creek. We got two bags already mixed right here in these buckets. I'm about to jump under this crawl space right here, carry them over there and put them in the footer hole. All right, we got about 15 bags of Quick Creek mixed up and poured in here in the footer. And I'm taking this little hoe right here and just tamping it out, getting it smooth on top with my grade pins to make sure that we don't need any more cement. You farted. No, I did not. You did. I didn't. All right, we just got this footer completely poured. I believe it took about 14 15 bags is that right tim yeah and there's the bags going up in flames right there so let's jump under here and i'll show you exactly what this finished product's gonna look like all right here it is it's all uh leveled out we got the water rising to the top through the concrete probably take this thing over the weekend to dry and cure out right uh we're not gonna do the rest of the construction on it until next week anyway so that concludes uh the footer video the next video that comes out We'll show you putting the uh, screw jacks and the header in there. That'll be on the next video. I appreciate every one of y'all for watching. All the new subscribers we're getting, thank you all. Without y'all, I wouldn't be doing this. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the comments. Make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe. If you haven't, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any more of my videos. I post every few days, and I will see y'all in the next video.
this way and I can't see your face. And there you go. Now look dead. What? Look dead. <laughs>